Hey guys, I got very good news. Uh, I was frustrated this morning because I couldn't get the thing to work. And so I said, well, there has to be a reason that it doesn't work. So I looked underneath the actual board and you couldn't see it with it, the naked eye. You had to use a magnifying glass, but there was a tiny little bit of solder that was touching another contact. So I took a screwdriver and just broke that little, the, the bridge where they formed and you to separate them. And this is the result. I am so thrilled. One, two, three, power. So now, as you can see, it will work. Just give it a few minutes. I don't want you to turn yellow. Okay, that one's yellow and red. And green. Once again, guys, I'm not touching anything. The board, I did put it back together, but it's sitting right there. The controller board is behind this light. So, as you can see, just because that teeny tiny little contact that was making, that's what blew the fuse. And if you wonder where I got the fuse from, I had to unfortunately tear apart an old radio I had, but I wasn't using it anyway, so I said, well, this has a fuse I can use. But the seller should at least send me a fuse since it's something that they screwed up. So I'm going to see if they can just at least send me a replacement fuse just in case. But as you can see, guys, it is working perfectly. So I'm going to turn this light around and have it face out the window. That will give a neighbor something to watch at night to keep him busy. And I'll hook up the motion sensor a little later today, too. All right, guys. I'm not depressed anymore. It actually works. And I can actually adjust the time to make the greens longer and the reds longer. So, But I just kept it default so you can see that it is working. All right, guys. See you later.